guys, here's what we're working with. So these group D mounts are mount, are made for like, anything. Not These are not made for this setup. These are just my, what I thought would work best and they are gonna work good. But there's gonna be some things that we're gonna have to do to get this to sit level and where we want it uh, with the front rack setup. So this is just a mock-up. We have to still have to pick it up and kind of wiggle it and get it into place and get it where we want it. But it's looking pretty decent so far. Now, this thing's gonna touch a little bit no matter what in the front. It's just, there's there's no way around it. We can't cut any more out of the firewall. I cut the max amount I could for FD rules on the firewall. Um, it looks like I gotta cut a little bit more on the right side to fit uh, the starter and bell housing over there kind of thing. It's like a little bit, but it's gonna be extremely, extremely tight regardless. But it's the best we can do. guys all radical Daniel is a fabricator he got these plates welded in the best we could and uh, the motor is literally dead nuts straight and I'll even show y'all there you go level I'm so stoked it's in for good welded on there now this car is not the straightest and we also these mounts are not made for our front rack setup but they're obviously work for what we got uh we basically had that one lay flat and this one was kind of like bowed like that so we welded it in and then tomorrow we're gonna come back we're tired today we're gonna take a break so tomorrow we're gonna slip that both sides hammer it to the frame weld it and fill it in and it'll be nice and flush all right we're on the iphone because the camera died um but yeah everything's in i'm stoked thank you dan appreciate you got it done I was really stressing that and that took me all day to get fitted and cut things in the tunnel and all that stuff so it's a lot a lot a lot of work so yeah it's a whole entire install you got to do with this front rack wise fab it'll be worth it in the long run and uh yeah so now uh taking a break till tomorrow and then we will probably finish up the video tomorrow once these are fully in painted and done and the wise fab is all on and good to go all right, guys, we've made it to Cody's shop, Creative Fab and Collision, over here in Mount Dora, Florida. It's time to get this new trans tunnel slash firewall thing in the car, fabbed up and safe for my legs and uh, the past tech in any race series. So, uh, trans tunnel's up next to get it all finished and fabbed up. Cody's in there already getting it to work, and then we'll do the subframe uh, reinforcement once again, and then finish welding the engine mount plates as well. All right, you got Cody in here. We've already cut the tunnel much, much straighter and nicer. So now it's nice and straight and rectangular. And then we're right now making templates for the new trans tunnel. And then after that, we will continue on. I already started clearancing this for the oil pan as well. All of this stuff here. Um, and then after that, we're gonna box this in and then finish rolling the engine mount plates as well. Guys, trans tunnel is going really good so far. We're basically adding what we already had before. We did this years ago, and with time, we don't have enough time to do a whole entire new one. So we're just basically making templates, and we made templates and got the steel in there, balled it up, played it up. Now it's time to hammer and fill it into the trans tunnel, to the existing trans tunnel. Hammer it in and get it nice and snug, and then uh, from there on, it'll be nice and smooth. And then we'll grind it up, make it smooth to the car, add some seam seal around there as well to make it even more good, and then be good to go.
All right, guys, lots of stuff getting done right now. Um, Chance Tunnel's going along very, very well. Cody's doing an awesome job, but we are preparing for Hurricane Milton. Hurricane comes literally tomorrow night, I think, so I'm trying to get this car done, well, the Chance Tunnel done uh, tonight that way we can get out of here and then be safe for the hurricane. The hurricane's coming, it is very, very serious. Uh, I've been here for almost, oh, I've been here 20 years, over 20 years of my life, and uh, been through a lot of hurricanes, but this one's gonna be really bad. It's supposed to be a category four, uh, while it hits us, 150 mile an hour winds, like some really serious shit. And it's probably gonna take a big toll on the timeline of the car, unfortunately. So, two days is a lot in a timeline when you're on time crunch. So we're gonna lose probably two, three days of work with this hurricane coming. So I wanna get the car done and then go home and prepare for the storm. I'm trying to get the car done as fast as possible in a very efficient way uh, to have a good stopping point and then go home, prepare for the storm and then continue on after the storm hits us, hopefully. It's not too bad, but it's not looking great. So hopefully we're all safe. Tell my Floridians out there, be safe. Hope you're safe. This video might be coming out before or after that. I'm not sure, but hope everybody's safe and uh, out of the state or at home bunker down. So uh, yeah, okay, back to the car. All right, Chance Tunnel is done, fab wise. So tons of room in there. It's exactly what I wanted, nice and shaped. I actually shaped all this down with the grinder, make it nice and smooth. And then Cody was in here finishing welding. The rest of it, like all of that over there. We actually seam sealed the front of it too to make it extra uh, sealed. It was plenty sealed, but we just wanted to make it look nice and have it extra safe. So, yeah, all those welds on there, dimes on there, done and ready to go. And then, yeah, so let's get going and getting this thing primered up and painted and paint max to the uh, engine bay, and then steal it the inside of the trans tunnel, and then steal it the uh, top of it inside the interior too. All right, get the fresh steel it painted on the trans tunnel, all nice and black steel it, all painted up, ready to go. Then Cody's over here, getting the firewall all sanded down so it looks nice and blended in with the new paint. And uh, yeah, looks really good so far. So I'm really stoked. It's gonna look so much nicer than we expected. So now time for primer and paint. All right, Cody's back taping the firewall, some new paint, the primer on there. I'll let him do his thing, because I can paint but I can't paint, he can paint. <laughs> I'm terrible at painting. But uh, yeah, it's gonna look a lot nicer. We should fresh paint the whole firewall, so let's get to it. This is just the etching primer. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't have to really be covered. This is just to protect the bare metal. Then you put a primer over the top of it, oh. which is like the actual primer. This is just like literally just to really fight to metal only. Got it. Where the other primer covers over other metal etchings. So we're gonna do a quick like can clear coat and uh, it's just not it. It will not look good. So luckily, Cody's a very, very, very talented painter and we're gonna use some nice clear coat out of a gun and clear the whole firewall and make it look nice and fresh and brand new so it looks really good and looks, you know, glossy and not like patchy and cheap out of a can. But I was doing that because I was gonna do it myself, but luckily we have Cody now. And now that we have Cody, it's gonna look way better with his talent, with his uh, paint color, because I don't have anything to do with paint. I just grabbed the car, so yeah. Get to it.
All right, guys, so it is the next day, and Hurricane Milton has passed, and uh, the whole entire central Florida got hit pretty bad. Now, it was coming out of the category four, but it hit the coast like a like a four or three, and gradually kind of weakened as it got to us, but it hit me and most central Florida at a two down to a one, but even for that, that for a two or a one, it was a freaking absolutely wild storm. Like, it, the winds were insane, the flooding where I'm at, uh, the trees, the, no one has power. For the most part, most of central Florida is safe. It's just like annoying things like no power, flooding, trees on things, that kind of damage, all that stuff. But, you know, some parts really did get hit hard and my heart goes out to them. It really, really sucks. And uh, we're also trying to build this damn car with a timeline with a hurricane that has came. So speaking about the storm and the power being out, Cody's shop where you just saw the car is out of power and they have no idea when power is gonna be restored. And uh, uh, his main task that I had him do was done, which was the trans tunnel. And while we were there, we were gonna finish up the engine mounts and the subframe, but we couldn't get to that because he has no power and we can't do anything about that now. So I need to keep moving forward. And after Cody's, I was planning on bringing the, the car to Michael's, which I'm still doing, but he's also out of power as well. So that is hilarious. And Michael's shop has a generator hookup, so we're gonna use my generator to power the shop and get some stuff done. Uh, the motor is done, and you'll see that in the next video, but I'm gonna film us uh, basically finishing the car's fab, and then all the stuff to fit the motor will be done. In the next video, you guys will see the new engine, but uh, I'm getting my new engine uh, on the way. I'm gonna pick up the new engine right now, but you guys will see the new engine until the next video. Look, it's a black car. No, it's not it's black. black it's damn. <laughs> All right, so we're here at the shop getting these plates welded in. Once we're done with those, we'll paint those. That's finally done. Subframe back, uh, plated up, and then that's done. And then once that is all done, this mock-up motor comes out, new motor goes in, and we can go from there. But Paul's here doing the welding thing. I can't weld because I need to learn how to weld, but I don't weld, so here we are with the third person welding on this car. Yeah, no attention span for welding. Yeah, you're definitely right. I just drive the car. Anyway. can't pay attention But yeah. Time all this stuff in and finally be done with this. But this this is black. This paint. I'll show you black. It's ain't black. No, it ain't no, black. It's black. Look at your firewall. It's dark as shit. Yeah, it's good. Alright guys, I got a little ahead of myself, but now the engine mounts are all painted up. Paint matches the car, dark spiral gray color. Subframes all painted up too and fabbed up and done. Um, I didn't film that much because this video is already getting too long. Not much happened in this video. I'm gonna get it over with. That way we can get to the new engine going in the car. Alrighty, so all nice and paint matched up. Steal it on the subframe as well. And then paint matching on this side. Looking pretty damn good for a can. Pretty damn good. But all, all the engines all fitted up in the car with just enough room to fit with this rear sump pan. Now guys, it's gonna be very, very tight. This is definitely gonna be the first iteration of what we have going on here. In the off season, I'm probably gonna get a different subframe that's cut out more and reinforced better to have more room. And so we can get the motor uh, even more low. And we also might be working on a billet upper pan or lower pan to like kind of customize it to where we can locate it. That way it can be custom made and machined to where we want it to sit in the car. But again, this video wasn't that much stuff, just getting the motor in the car, trans tunnel fabbed up, everything like that. Getting everything ready, not wasting any time, getting the mock-up motor in the car, and getting all the measurements and all the fab work done. So when the new engine is done, which it is, um, we pick it up, we put it in the car, and we are done and good to go. But it's been a very, very weird, like, two weeks or one week because uh, a lot of work was going on, and the hurricane came, I had to prepare for that, everybody else had to prepare for that, we lost power for days. Just trying to build a car with the hurricane and other things that happened, it was just crazy. But either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys very soon.